Meghan Markle has complained that Kate Middleton snaps her fingers and is quickly backed by the palace after a negative story, yet when she was crucified by the media she received no support, sources have told DailyMail.com. Meghan said Kensington Palace never once came to her defense when she was being shredded by the media. Now Kate gets a bit of negative press, and the palace comes out in less than 24 hours to rebuke the claims made against her, a friend said. Last week, British Society Bible Tatler ran a cover story about Kate, headlined Catherine the Great Dash but Kate and William took issue with the article, saying it contained a swathe of inaccuracies and false representations. Kensington Palace also sent legal letters to the magazine to remove the story from the Internet. Meghan pointed out to friends that she was plagued by negative stories and the palace did nothing to interfere, despite pleas from Prince Harry. The inaction eventually led to the Sussexes quitting their royal duties and moving to Los Angeles. The French said, this is really a slap in the face for Harry because he repeatedly asked for an updated, revised media policy or at least a conversation about his concerns. All fell on deaf ears and then Kate comes along, snaps her fingers and gets an outpouring of support. They added, Meghan says it's just so telling. She explained this was one of the main reasons why she and Harry said their goodbyes to royal life. The lack of support and complete disregard for the pain and anguish Meghan suffered while being crucified by the media. Meghan said rather than backing her, she was made to feel like she was asking too much, expecting too much, when all she wanted was support from the powers that be. Tatler's story on Kate included anecdotes about how the Duchess of Cambridge felt overworked and tired because she had to take on more royal duties after Meghan and Harry stepped away. The article cites a source as saying, Kate is furious about the larger workload. She feels exhausted and trapped. She's working as hard as a top CEO, who has to be wheeled out all the time, without the benefits of boundaries and plenty of holidays. Kensington Palace quickly blasted the quote telling the Mail on Sunday, there is no truth to their claim that the Duchess feels overwhelmed with work, nor that the Duke is obsessed with Carol Middleton. It's preposterous and downright wrong. But Meghan told friends she's not surprised Kate is taking jabs at her for leaving the royal life and that Kate was never supportive during her transition into the royal family. A source said, Meghan said on her last trip to England. Kate barely said two words to her and that it's absolutely preposterous for her to start playing the blame game. Of all the people in the royal family, Meghan said she had hoped to develop a close relationship with Kate, but was never given the chance. It was hurtful and disappointing for Meghan. Meghan said Kate never gave her the benefit of the doubt or reached out to her when she was at her lowest, struggling to adjust with very few friends. Had the roles been reversed? Meghan said she would have gone out of her way to make Kate feel part of the family. She would have embraced their sisterhood. The friends said Meghan felt Kate secretly envied Meghan's ability to speak her mind and make her own happiness a priority. Meghan said Kate only has herself to blame for not setting limits and for not speaking up for herself. Tatler also addressed one of the rumored feuds between Meghan and Kate, stemming from Meghan's wedding in May 2018. The magazine said the fight occurred at a rehearsal and was over whether Princess Charlotte and the other young bridesmaids should wear tights. A source told Tatler, Kate, following protocol, felt that they should. Meghan didn't want them to. The photographs suggest that Meghan won. A friend told DailyMail.com, first off, it was Meghan's big day, not Kate's and secondly Meghan was not about to make her god kids let alone the other little girls wear tights, it was too hot and sticky and there was just no need for it. Meghan said it really wasn't an issue until Kate made it an issue. <laughs>